that the charge card cost one. So my point is like, Yes, you know, the, the combo, the charge card, all that is, is not bad, but um, if charge used to be what it was, like three mana and you could hit face, it would basically be the same card when it comes to comboing for board control, which is what you're doing right now, because you usually use the card in like turn eight, nine, or ten plus, so you get your floating mana anyway. The fact that it costs one instead of three is irrelevant in this type of deck in this type of situation and the fact that you can't hit your opponent in the face is definitely going to cause you some um, lo decrease in power level of your deck let's say and yeah I want to show you guys that it, it basically basically means that charge is confirmed nerfed uh, okay it's it's an okay card but uh, it was it was good before and it's absolutely less good now though the adventures of trying the card were pretty awesome, so I thought I'd show you guys that. You guys can see what experimenting with the card might be like, and, uh, well, maybe in the odd case, I'll inspire you guys to try a similar deck. So check it out, enjoy, hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Why not tap, bro? What's wrong? Alright. He'll just double pyro here. Totemic might... Nice. I'm here to help. What? What? That's not a valid card. For the wild. What the fuck? That's, that's not a that's not that's not a valid card. That's not a valid card. Oh, so the nerfed charge made the dog have worse than its normal charge? Damn, dude! I know there's like a Malagos druid that people like playing right now. I need to look that deck up. I'm actually not familiar with it. No Emperor? Nah. Alright, let me check out Malagos Druid. Apparently it's good against Warrior. So that kind of sucks for me, I guess. In Innervate, Moonfires, Living Roots. Doesn't have Brand though. Is my goal. Okay. Choma wasn't too bad there. It may have seemed bad, but it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. I still have to use a weapon charge and slam. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, dude, Ragnaros is in every single deck now. It probably should be in mine as well.
How the fuck is this a charging deck? Well, it has Magnetor Alpha and Solanus and Charge. So that's the deck, bro. I don't see the problem here. Um. Crypt must really hate Arena if he's already rank 11, well. Yeah, this month has been a really, really bad month for Arena. I'm hoping the next expansion comes out fast and is good. Otherwise, I'm going to be disappointed in play probably playing a lot of other games. Thought about going for Legend again. Nah. I don't really like rank very much either. Kind of weird. Prepare yourselves for battle. Fight as one, and we shall prevail. You speak truth. Better hope he has Yogg, because it's pretty fucking hard for a Druid to clear that now. We got the charge combo, boys. Charge. What a combo. Pretty wasteful, but looks cool. See Yogg Saron drop down and Pyro blast a druid in the face. Okay, thank you, please. Yeah, we used charge and it was decent. We knew. Oh my god. Mostly have to dodge a panda. Okay. Oh, it's Yogg time. Oh, it's Deathwing time. Really? All right. 
right, dude. All right. Take it. not cool are you fucking kidding me all right well he needs the top deck again again do we, do we have this oh we got this Oh baby, rank 10 chest boys. I should try the really good X Blinger OTK deck. How the fuck does that work? I actually don't know if I could beat Priest X with this. It's gonna be tough. We'll have to see. Song Commander, improve the soul of the deck. Yeah, dude. Combo defeated. Axe Flinger OTK rank 25. <laughs> um. Oh. Axe Flinger, Axe Flinger. Faceless, faceless, whirlwind, whirlwind, revenge, revenge. That's 32 damage, actually. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, she has a good Do you know if Tice has insurance or is paying out of pocket for all the packs he owes? Alright, Alright. Ragnaros. Oh wow. It's the greatest fucking deck ever. Well that's a problem. Get shit on the deep. Maybe I should have waited on the Magnetor combo. Yeah, I, I can't beat Priest deck, <laughs> especially when it's as greedy as this. You're really hating to him. Uh, I don't know. And Tomb is only really good against other control decks. So it's pretty frustrating right now. Because control decks are very few and far between, so when you play control and get matched up against Priest, it feels really fucking stupid to lose exactly to Entomb when you know it's going to lose the game for them against everything else. Uh, uh, I think it's fine though. I mean, Grayson is fucking terrible. Let them at least have good matchups against like two thirds of the control. It's not even good against every control deck, right? Like, it gets shit on by Paladin control if it runs anything, any fan, I mean. And uh, the right warrior deck will still beat it. So, like, it's terrible. Control Priest only beats other control decks two-thirds of the time. 
sadly, I'm in that category, but like, I really cannot complain here. Priest beats anything. Entomb the war leader. Uh, right, sure. I think it's very hard to actually do that if the Paladin player is worth the damn. I think um, Priest is uh, is a pretty high skill deck. It's, I mean, it's, it's a control deck, so of course, compared to a lot of the other decks that are being played. So the outcome for Priest against any Finn is just going to come down to who the better players are. Right? I would love a charge right now. If you're playing any Finn Pally against Priest, all you do is... Um, drop your war leader before they can entomb or you drop your war leader with an equality uh, pyro combo holy shit look at that So, in that matchup, if one player is good and another is not so good, the player who's good will almost always win. And, I mean, you guys have probably watched, like, a streamer play Priest, and they beat any Finn Pallies all day. Well, yeah, probably because he's a pretty good player. But I think in a game where both players are good, the Paladin is pretty damn well favored to win. He thought stole my Cthune. Seriously. So that's how it got buffed, right? He wasn't running Cthun, but he thought stole my Cthun with... Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not even sure Solanus is worth very much. I'll probably have to get him to entomb some of my other shit. And then once he does that, I can maybe play Slavana. So. Honestly, I think the reality is I just can't beat... I can't beat this deck with mine. I think that's just the reality. Wow, that's a really cool observation. I didn't think about that. Seven. He has more in hand, and he probably has some tombs. might have an opportunity to win, so I'm just going to take it. I don't think I can win this game otherwise. I'm actually pretty happy with that hand. 
It would mostly be better if I had a Fiery War Axe, but if I start dropping cards from this, it's going to get a lot worse because they're all combos. do the paladin quest some other time. It's not a huge deal. I'm gonna take life damage to try to get more stuff on the board. Probably the best way to handle it. That's not good. Seriously bad and constructed. I have 300% win rate, so I guess if your claim matches up against my results, it must mean that uh, being bad means that you're lucky, which means that you win more. So you can just enjoy being good at your low rank while I be bad at my higher rank. Yeah, I went there. Someone has a rock biter. Combo. We definitely want totems on the board. They're called uh, source targets for Magnetor Alpha here. Oh, there's the hex. Maelstrom. Oh, dude, that is that is just awesome. Ah, uh, sadly, we have to burn a weapon hit here. But it's worth it. This might be the first time someone will concede to charge Magnetor Alpha. So let's see if we can live the concede dream. Alpha boys, Alpha. Dude, why would you tow them? These guys must have never seen this card before. Oh no! Towed him! Yes, he towed him! Alright, miss. 
Gonna teach him another lesson here. Yeah, dude. And the thing is, I don't really want to take eight damage, but it's more it's more savage if I take eight damage here. It's like, bro, you screwed up again. I mean, Magnetar Alpha confirmed kills seven. Dude, it's still alive. <laughs> Killed seven minions. Yeah, I guess, sure, whatever. Holy crap, dude. Dude, this is a lot of ape here. Alright. Hey guys, how's it going? Praying here. Yes. If you haven't checked already, today's video is really long. It's really long because, um, well, I experienced what I would consider probably the best arena run, at least this year. Maybe even in the last year that I experienced. Uh, it is a rogue draft, and uh, I thought it would serve as the best example for those that, you know, want to do a little better in arena. You want to learn about drafting, you want to learn about playing, and in particular, playing rogue because rogue is like the the top class right now it's been the top class for a few expansions and it does have a little bit of a different play style so in this video i'm going to show you all the games all the drafting all the moments of this arena run so you guys can understand all the building blocks that are required to do well and uh, this is the deck here just so you guys can see there are a few very interesting aspects to it it is a good deck but, uh, you know, I've, I've played better decks, and uh, there are a few things that you can notice that um, there are not too many two-drops when it comes to drafting rogue decks. Yes, of course.